Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you the only way I play NASA jungle at the moment because the power spike is basically unbeatable. So we all know level six for NASA is huge. And then for Divine Sunderer, also another huge power spike. And then the second item is a bit of an unexpected one and that is Fimble Winter. It's only 2,600 gold to pick up Winter's Approach. It will turn into Fimble Winter once your tier is full stacked. And at that point, pretty much every single one of your Withers will give you a big fat juicy shield that people will not be anticipating and they'll overcommit to try to kill you and then you can wipe them up. You could use Trinity Force, but that item is gonna be nerfed soon. So really just stick to Divine into Fimble Winter. Everything after that is semi-situational. For example, if you want Ability Haste, you'd go for Black Cleaver or Spear of Sojin. Or if you want Mobility, you'd go Dead Man's or Force of Nature. Or if you wanna go ahead and go for Raw Survivor Ability, you'd go for Gargoyle and Sterix. This item's only 2,600 gold, loads of stats. And then once it's fully stacked, which doesn't really take that long, Thimble winner, whenever you slow somebody, you get a big, fat, ripe, juicy shield. It makes it hard for the enemies to kill you. So it's going to be Divine Sunder into Thimble Winter. Then we can look to get either Mobility or more Ability Haste. So Mobility or Ability Haste, third item. The core of the build, though, is Divine Sunder into Thimble Winter. I had it at a weird HP. I don't really want to smite it. Autos are doing about 72. My Q is doing not much more than that. Auto into Q, drop the E. We can go ahead and smite this guy uh, since we still have it. Typically, you do want to finish your first camp as fast as possible. That way you can get your E for the damage. Of course, we still want to get our uh, Q last hits in. We're already at 24 Q farm. Every large monster is worth 12. Every large minion is worth 12. Champions are worth 12. Everything else is worth three whenever you last hit it with your Q. So we really are reliant on uh, farming up early on, full clear into gank. Nasus jungle, as long as you're not dying or doing really weird ganks, he has one of the highest carry potential out of any jungler in the game. We can go two points in Q at this point. We don't have to go for wither. In fact, we'll go ahead and just do dull points in Q. Wither doesn't help you against your monster camps. You can't wither monster camps. But if you do want to gank at level three or before you are uh, done with your full clear, then obviously get your W. Ganking without wither is kind of impossible. See, he's going top side. Fleet is an extremely neutral keystone. If you need more mobility, because they have an Ash or a Nunu, definitely go phase rush. They don't have really any CC and they're all melee, just go for lethal tempo. Otherwise, you can't go wrong with fleet footwork. It's a speed up plus healing. Super, super solid uh, keystone. So it keeps you about 178 against large monsters. We'll get here in a moment. I didn't bother taking a potion since we have fleet. There's no need. Absolutely no need. Auto into Q, we get the big one. We're going to just roast those real quick. So we finished around 350-ish leash list. Pretty slow initial clear. Things get a lot better once you have Sheen. Volibear has been over ganking. None of his ganks have panned out, and I have more CS than him. Like, that's the worst possible scenario as a jungler. You're, you're over ganking, and now he's behind. I'm full health. I could straight up solo him at this stage. Full health, level 4. I need to get Wither on this guy. Drop the E. Oof. Yeah, he went turbo mode there. He ghost flashed it. Flashed. <laughs> and uh, I think he popped his phase rush as well. So my ghost got a little wasted there. We can go for Irelia and then reset. Generally, after your full clear, you'll try one gank and then you'll back for your sheen. Got the wither on him. E auto into Q. If this guy doesn't have flash, he's dead. Yeah, rest in pieces. It's 24 CS. I'm assuming this scuttles up. We'll see real quick. Ah, sucks. Could potentially dive Irelia. She's got a little too much health for my taste. Let's go ahead and get the Sheen. Sheen into... Honestly, let's grab, let's grab the early tier. 
grab a control reward as well focus on full clearing not every jungler full clearing is the best but with champ with nasus it definitely is you get 12 to your q every time so if you full clear and you only last hit the big ones six times 12 um was that like 72 or something 72 extra damage on your q it's a lot 292 with sheen pull him out nasa or i should say the bully bears bot side right now so we can invade his top side we'll do that in one second We mainly only want the big one. If we're staying for every single monster, what ends up happening is we farm the camp too slow, and then we miss out on taking our other camps. So you'll put your camps on a longer respawn by not taking them faster. You'll end up not getting as much Q farm. So when your abilities are up, you want to try to use them as long as you're getting your Q last hit on the big monster. Lad is six here. Auto into Q. We need at least two E rotations to kill the whole camp anyway, so I don't mind farming a few small raptors in this situation. Because they're worth a lot of gold. Auto and a Q is doing about 348. We can queue a bit sooner next time. We did see the Volibear bot side, so we can linger here for a long time. Auto and a Q. This should kill it. Yep, 360. Nice. These small ones are worth loads of gold. Definitely don't leave those behind. She's playing so safe. You don't typically want to play for bots or play for top side. Playing for top side, you tend to miss out on dragons a lot more. She's playing hyper defensive. That's not gankable at all. We gotta let that be and keep farming up. We don't want to delay level 6. Level 6 is an enormous power spike. You need the auto Q. Going for this early of a tier, there's some risk involved with it. But at the end of the day, Nasus on level 6 can solo really any champ. Get him with the wither. He's dead here. Auto into Q. We stalled out his abilities. Phase rush, they need to hit you with three separate attacks. And since we dodged his first one or two, he wasn't able to apply it, so he's dead. Phase rush essentially cleanses slows for the most part, the majority of a slow, and speeds them up. Beautiful. Top lane scrapped it out. Timo has mushrooms to retreat to. Q's doing 396. Yeah, one more Q is all we need. Plus 12. Auto into Q. Don't know why Timo's doing that. Very strange. Plus 12. And we'll reset when we can afford the rest of Divine Sunder. No reason to back before then for us. We can definitely solo the Wooly Bear. Our ganks are good. We're playing for free boots. Our clears won't be that much faster for reset, and all of our camps are up. If all of our camps were down, then sure, we gank reset. That's the timing of it on, um, as a jungler. If you full clear it, reset, and you go back to where you started, you'll have to wait like 15 to 30 seconds. That's why you tend to gank after the full clear, because it fills that dead space so you're not being time inefficient. I have spent too much time trying to gank top. It's been a colossal waste. We could be at around 250 Q farm by now for sure. We might have to give up the first two dragons, that's fine. You really start to fight for them once you have full Divine Sunder, you're level six plus with Divine, with Ghost, and then at that point they can't really stop you. The enemies are backing off. Auto 
auto in the queue. This queue should kill. I uh, see, so doing almost 500 with the Sheen. If this isn't warded, they're dead. We come up behind with the Wither. I have free boots as well, so I'm moving really quick. Ooh. Auto Ooh, I couldn't even get the Q because they killed him. My R ended up getting wasted. I thought Pantheon was going to turn. Oh, well. I kind of need to stay. to stay for a little bit more gold. Auto in the queue, we run away. He's smited. Yeah, down he goes. We should have enough for divine now. I'm out of here. With free boots, 385 movement speed crack. NASA space movement speed is 350, which is about as high as it gets. The highest in the game is Mastery at 355. 350 is incredibly high though, and Free Boots is an additional plus 10 movement speed on top of already being tier one boots. We'll get Oracles at this stage of the game once we have Divine. Beautiful. Clear out objective vision. Fallen's dead there. My Ghost is up, R is down. I could check this, but my R is down. Grab this real quick before we peek out. Q with that Divine Sunder is doing 681. You can keep an eye on the Divine Sunder cooldown your Sheen. Just looking at the item, it'll tell you. You always max Wither second per level. The cooldown gets quite a bit lower and the slow. Movement speed slow gets a lot better. You can definitely dive. 100%. Glad there's something here. Getting a little worried there wasn't going to be anything. 735, my goodness. I'll go for this guy's raptors. These minions are going to see me. It is what it is. Volibear's bot side. I could do mid. I think his flash is up. So I'll hold off on using my ghost. Just get wither and try to avoid letting him hit me three times. There it is, plus 12. Uh, he went in deep. He's going to get away as well. He's taking a million turret shots. I don't think he saw me there. Drop the wither. That's plus 12. Okay, we still get our plus 12, even if we don't get it off of Vlad. Get it off the cannon. Ghost is up, R is up, even though we have camps to farm, why not take the kill? It's pretty much guaranteed with Ghost and R, no matter how many people show up. We want to wither Twitch because he's the one who's going to be spamming autos. Drop the E, smite, into Q. There it is. This guy can't fight us. He's got a bugger right off. EQ. Smite him, EQ, down he goes. And we're still on ghost extensions. Does he have anything up? No, he doesn't. That kind of sucks. Not sure if Vlad's at this makes this risky. Need to hurry. Got quite a bit of healing from passive. 16% life still at this stage of the game. Starts out, I think, 8 or 9%. Dragging up in 27, we should just reset. We could stick on the map. Fight for dragon as is, but we're sitting on 2,000 gold. We can, uh, oof. I wonder if I can get away with greeting for one more camp. That would give me my item. <laughs> I can get the full winner's approach. Possibly too greedy. Yeah, we're not going to have time to reset. Basically, when Dragon's up in 25 seconds or less, if you don't recall, you'll have no way of being there in time. And it was already down to 20 seconds before I started the crux. I think we can do this. Twitch is withered. His attack speed is ruined. Smite him into Q. He's dead. 
One more Q will do it. Boom, there it is. We need to time him out a bit. Pop R. Auto into Q. We get the fleet speed up. We need Wither. <sighs> Come on, baby. Ooh, we caught it. He's, uh, he has tier 2 boots. <sighs> yeah, he just got out of my range. Hey, Vlad. You like that, buddy? You like that, buddy? <laughs> I got something for you here. I timed him out. You're not even going to be able to phase rush, friend. He's, he's kind of stalling me out for the Twitch, I think. Uh, I don't really know if that's worth. Yeah, it's a bit dicey. I want to reset for Winter's Approach. Count is tearing him up. Over there in the E. Auto in the Q. Did not get the plus 12. Almost did, though. Whew. They're in big trouble. Basically, what they need to do to win is five-man focus us. If they don't have five people hitting us at the same time, we can wipe their whole team. We have the damage output to kill everybody. Tier's most of the way stacked up. We almost have Thimble Winner. This item's only 2,600 gold is the nutty part. Go ahead and grab Merc Treads since they do have Slows. They have Wooly Stun, Pantheon Stun, Irelia Stun. Every single CC they have, Tenacity interacts with. The only CC, Tenacity does nothing against is suppressions and displacements. Displacements being knockups, knockback hooks. Suppressions being things like Malzahar R and Warwick R. Eight ninety four, solid. Boom, plus twelve. We do still need to farm. Would rather be in his jungle farming. I ended up skipping the Krugs there since I am so big. Ghost and R up. I don't want to pull myself too far off the map. On this big of a power window. There's a lot we can get done by pushing the map versus staying on our side of it. 955. One thousand big ones when he's inside my E. Nine sixty-seven. E to shreds armor. The large monster in a camp has a little bit of armor and magic resist. So when the large monster is on your E, you'll do a bit more damage with your Q because of course it's physical damage and your E is reducing the armor of it. Volley bear, what were you thinking, my guy? Drop the wither E, auto into Q. I mean, I would like to get the plus 12. I'm also going to get ghost extensions from this. I have R, auto into Q, auto into Q, auto into Q. <laughs> oh, that was a close fight. I'm still on R extensions as well. Went in for the raw Q. Wasn't too worried about, uh, about turret shot or getting my E down first. My E's only level one. So against champions, it's only so important to even use my E. I don't think he has his damage block up. I get the shield, auto into Q. That sucked. That was a lot of damage. I need to heal off something real quick. So are, we've already shielded 446, guys. This is not a long cooldown. I just bought this item and it's already on 446. To give you some perspective, that's close to 20% of my maximum health. That's like around, what is that? 15% of my maximum health, 446. Super, super solid. Just by slowing them with my wither, which isn't even a skill shot. And it's only a, uh, it's an eight second cooldown, which really isn't that long. I'm pretty sure that cooldown is affected by our ability haste. So the more ability haste we have, and right now we're at 53, that should put that on a 35% shorter cooldown. So reduce 8 seconds by 35%. Was that like 6 seconds total? It's about 1,058. We could do Baron for sure. I'd rather farm it. 
play for Draxel win con. Instead of coin flip being the smite. My R is up. Easy fight. They don't have the comp. Teemo blind counters their whole team except for Vlad. Um, I counter their whole team with Wither except for Vlad. But even then, it's still pretty decent against him. Yeah, Fimble winner. 400 health, 860 mana, 15. It's actually giving us uh, 550 health. It's giving us 550 because the awe is giving us 150 right now based on our maximum mana and it already gives us 400 base so this is 550 health 860 mana wither r in the q smite in the q oh i didn't get the plus 12 that's ggs though we'll go ahead and do a part two because this game was so short and i'll give you guys more of a taste of Fimble Winter. I'll see you there. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two. Gonna be going for that Divine Sunder into Fimble Winter. It's kind of funny that it doesn't even show up as a recommended item when it's one of his highest win rate items in the game. Uh, they don't really recommend it to anyone to build, is the weird thing. It's super inexpensive. They made it cheap since nobody really builds this item. It has that scaling element, which is fine for Nasus because he's a slow paced champion who takes time to scale, scale regardless. You're really playing for level six. And then once your six are kind of playing for Divine Sunderer, and then at that point, your tier is full stacked and you have Fimble Winner and you're on an unbeatable power spike. And then after Fimble Winner, you can look to pick up a Gargoyle if you really want to. You can go for Sterix if you need Tenacity. I think they're starting on my blue, so I'll just start on my red. His, his item options are many after his first two. His first two, is, it's really always going to be a Sheen item always, whether you go for Trinity or Divine. Um... It's always going to be that into Fimble. And then third item is ridiculously situational, whether you want mobility from Dead Man's or Force of Nature, or whether you want just raw survivability through like Sterics or Guardian Angel, or Ability Haste through Spirit Shojin or Black Cleaver. His options are ridiculously wide open for sure. Plus 12, barely able to kill that there. Barely. I don't think they started on my blue, but they definitely invaded it. I think Fizz warded my jungle as well. Kind of want to save my E so it kills all the small ones in the camp. Because you don't want to have to sit there and tickle them down. So a lot of autos. So even though my E was up two or three seconds earlier, I needed to wait a little bit for it to make sense. I needed the big one to bleed out shortly after using it. And the Q, plus 12, beautiful. Drop the E. They're all dead. Nice. We could go another point in Q or Cheese Gank bot. I'm kind of feeling the Cheese Gank. Looking at their health and mana, Senna, very, very low. She's warding right now, so I need to go all the way around. Or, I mean, they're playing up so far, I may not have to. In fact, yeah, we'll, we'll run this. I'm definitely on a ward at this point. We get her with the wither. We'll run this way. I didn't really get anything out of that, unfortunately. All I got was my basically free boots on a slightly shorter cooldown. That's about it. So we see Sejuani's mid. She's very low. She can't fight us for scuttle. We should be able to take her on it. She may not even realize I was over here if she wasn't looking on the minimap. Her passive should still be on a cooldown. She's going to jump to it, and then she's dead. Yeah, you're dead, buddy. She completely negated my slow. How annoying is that? Got with an auto into Q. Down you go. She's not going to be able to... She didn't have enough health. Like, let's be honest. What is she going to do? Not sure where Fizz is at, though. It makes me nervous. I'm checking to see he's not flanking me. You don't normally gank this early on Nassif, so it's only because the enemy bot lane was playing ridiculously aggressive. Plus we have Ghost. I think we got both their flash. It's like blah, flash, it's like 8.30. Flash 5 minute cooldown, they used it around 3 minute 30. Very, very uncommon to be able to pull off a gank this quick into the game. But you do want Wither for that. We, we checked. 
looking around at people's health. Let me see health mana and also wave positioning. So for example, when we see here, they're already missing some health and mana and their waves pushing into my teammates. So I know if I stay, I can gank it. Therefore, we'll keep a close eye. Some players will stay and try to take a play. Other players won't. Kaisa should want to reset to get mana, but everybody's different. Some people are willing to risk it. Okay, so for example, she's risking it. Why not gank this instead of continuing our clear or resetting for Sheen? Like we already know they don't have flash. Now, if we hadn't got their flashes yet, then this would be kind of shit. But since we already got flashes, it's fine. Got with the Wither E into Q. And I did not even get it. So I'm going to take Cannon. I want the plus 12. That should put our free boots on a shorter cooldown once again. So now we're getting them 945. You get slightly magical footwear at 12 minutes, but if you cannot buy boots before, you cannot buy boots before then. For each takedown you get, so it's not even unique takedown, it's just takedown. So yeah, it's shorter cooldown. Pick up Sheen, we'll pick up a tier, and then we'll grab as much of this as we can afford. Garb Oracles control. We got a lot of items there. <laughs> Never gonna run out of mana. We're also stacking the Thimble Winter. Got a long sword control word in Oracles. Red up in 57. We could take Krugs, Wraps, Red, clear back down. Getting the free boots early is a huge deal. Because if you can have those in your R at the same time, because that's part of the issue. If you only clear and you're not ganking ever, then what you'll find is you'll have your ultimate but no boots. So at 6, it can get kind of awkward trying to, to try to actually do anything. Because if you don't have boots and you have your ultimate... If they have boots or tier twos, it's hard to even get to them to cast the wither. It puts you in a tough spot. But you kind of want to have boots in your R at the same time. Their bot lane's going to keep dying at this point. Fiddle support's so cracked. I've done a video on it. It is outrageously good. Point and click hard CC. He's tanky too. He's really tanky because he, he heals for damage his drain does. So if he's draining the minions and both enemy champions at the same time, holy crap, it's like killing a Mundo. And neither one of them can cancel the drain. You need a non-snare uh, CC. So snares and slows aren't going to do it. It's got to be something better than that. And all they have is send a snare. This Q should kill. Start kiting it out. When we know our Q can kill, we can start running to the next camp and let the monster chase us. Most monsters are faster than you'll be anyways. Like Big Wolf here, for example, is 493. He can easily catch up. I want to take out one of these small ones. About 454. Could have probably just hammered the big one there in hindsight. Auto into Q. 300 since my sheen was on cooldown from my E auto. Almost didn't get that plus 12. Auto into Q. Next Q kills. Plus 12 and level 8, level 6. That's the same time Belveth usually hits level 6. I'm pretty happy with that on a Nasus. Reading a good timing. If this days for turret, he's, de he's dead. Auto into Q. He's about to see me. Okay, yeah, I can't even slow her because they're passive. That's a really annoying interaction. This is bad. Right, dude, I can't move. I didn't notice the fizz roam. That's on me. I gotta stop withering Sejuani. I keep cheesing myself on that. If she hasn't recently been in combat with a champion, basically she has a bunch of extra armor matter resist and you can't slow her, so we gotta let her be. I can throw out an E to scrape it, but I can't just raw wither. I'm wasting my wither. That took a lot of steam out of a lot of tempo away from what we're doing here. Cause I R's on cooldown, ghosts on cooldown. And they get dragged. That's rough. Four twenty-seven. Should be able to finish off these small ones. 
Maybe not. They have too much health now for level 1 E to do it. Shouldn't be awarded. I want Renekton to dash forward. We'll see. With the Wither E, auto into Q. I don't know what to say about that. We might both die here. That's really rough. That was not close at all. It's full health 2v1. All right, we got an AFK farm for now, dude. That was ridiculous. Holy moly. And that's why you don't force ganks on Nasus jungle. I didn't realize how ahead Renekton already was. My Wither is also not that useful against him. Renekton isn't really auto-based. Auto in the Q. Nice drop from bot lane. Next Q kills here. Plus 12. Lovely. We'll have Divine Sunder here very soon. So I'm just going to get all the objectives in the meantime. Auto in the Q. If you're ever not sure if you have enough damage, just slide in one more auto. Q's a great auto reset anyways. Top's dead. I should invade here. Next Q kills. About 498 with Sheen proc. Top lane's definitely over. Renekton, he, he killed us and he had full health. Even if I had R, that would have been tough to beat him. I don't want to burn my R here. I have to. Plus 12. Holy moly. Let's go. We got a kill. Not just assist. They got a lot of gold top side. They may or may not have taken my jungle camps as well. We need to leave. I'll take this control word. It's a parting trophy. Plus three. And we can get Divine Sunder. Big. Divine Sunder. Our ghost is up. This game's turning around. Just like that. We're at 250Q farm as well. It's a really good uh, number. Q has an additional three, 339. Okay, I see. So the base damage on Q is actually really shit. It's 90 base damage for four points in it. See how much damage Q does here with Eon. So without Divine Sunder, it's 488. With Divine Sunder, it is 678. My goodness. All right. Can I do this? Yes. Yeah, probably not. I would need my R. He's tier 2 boots, gore drink. So he's a full item, tier 2 boots. I'm tier 1 boots, 1 full item. He's 3 levels up on me is the main thing. I think I can do it with my R though. Especially now that his R is on a cooldown. Probably gonna hide in bush on the, my teammate here. Drop the E, R, Q. He's gonna dash through. He's dead here. He's trying to get to the wall. I didn't get the plus 12. I was trying so hard to stall out my autos, let my R burn, let my red buff burn. Man, I was less than 100 damage short there. That's huge though. Big shutdown. 
His champ does not scale either. Renekton falls off so hard, he has to basically permanently stay alive. Similar to an AD Shaco jungle. Or heck, even an AP Shaco jungle, because AP Shaco really needs to play off mesh. They're all going mid. I should probably just do this. Auto in the queue. I think Mord's giving up. I think he's just trying to die. Like, why is he even over there at that point? They already got the dragon. He, Mord's behind. Nice drop from the Ari, though. Solid. This blue's coming up soon. I want to come up. So I can steal it. Got the wither on him. E. Auto into Q. We'll use the bush. I'll smite him here in a second. Auto into Q. Nice. I mean, we didn't get the plus 12. That's all right. I'm too low on health to go tangle with Sedjuani. She's not behind either. Loads of armor. More CS than me as well. I died too much this game. Biggest mistake was trying to gank the Renekton who's already 2-0. That was really bad without my ultimate. Especially because your Wither, if they have someone who's turbo fed, but they need, really need auto attacks like a Vayner or Quinn or Teemo, your Wither can balance out the scales. But Renekton, he really doesn't need autos. He can auto W reset regardless how slow his attack speed is. He can use his Q and his dashes, his R burn. So much of his kit is, is not revolved around really auto attacking. So he's still able to output 80% of his normal damage output easily. Unlike a Kaisa or a Senna, where when I wither them, they have basically half damage, if that. Their team's slowing down a lot here. Auto into Q, that's, wow, plus, plus 12, that was an 850 with Divine Sunder hit there. Q starting to tickle. An aggressive tickle. Ooh, they double warded that, huh? They're the only two people alive. Their other three people are dead. Why didn't we stay for turret plates here? Not Or not turret plates, but why didn't we stay and break that turret when their team's dead? You knew exactly where every, everybody was. Dragon up in two minutes. That's perfect. That gives us time. Plus three, I'm about to get another plus 12 over here. Oh, they're kind of pushed up. Maybe I can get in behind. I need to take off her passive. There it is. Put her in combat. After a couple seconds, her passive drops and I can slow her. Fiddle R is up in seven. I think I can do this even without spending my gold. That fiddle goes in. I'll ghost for this. I'll press R, plus 12. I got Wither on her. Oh, I didn't get my Wither on her. Dang, did not get the plus 12 for that. Got it for that though. Missed out on ghost extensions off of assisting on the Kai'Sa. Tier's almost completely finished. Almost, nearly half Fimble Winter. Go for Mercs into, I'd say Gargoyle. They have loads of bursts and a lot of magic damage. The Fizz, the Sedge, even Kai'Sa has magic damage. The Gargoyle, I'll pop it right when Fish Shark's going off. Or right when Kai'Sa passive hitting me heavy or whatever. Plus 12, beautiful. Plus three. Jace reset. I thought it just disappeared there, but now nah, he reset. That makes more sense. 1,000 damage on Q there. Look at that, 961. It's 1,000 with the E armor shred. So what's going on? Solid. At nearly 500 Q farm, we ha should probably have Fimble Winter. 
We have green jungle item finished as well. Very common. Junglers around level 10 to 12 will finish their jungle item. Yeah, I almost have Fimble Winner. I'm so close. Fiddle, I can't even get to you, bro. He's healing off of her, though. Almost have Fimble. I would like to get it before this drag fight, if possible. Have it. That should be it. 350. Or is it 360? I don't remember. I guess it is 360, dang. My R is up for this. Oh, there it is. Oh, come on, baby. Yep. I think I can do this auto into Q. Down she goes. Auto E, auto Q. I'm healing so much off this guy. Wither. Whew, look at that healing. Look at that healing. Oh, that's GG's. Nice try. <laughs> oh, it's too much. Too much healing, dude. The Fimble shield was coming into play there, I think, as well. Yeah, it's blocked 971, guys. Like, that's what I'm talking about. 971? I just got this. Just this fight. It's already done 971. Incredible. Too spicy most people aren't familiar with it either so they don't anticipate auto into Q didn't get the plus 12 off of her big sad this is the power spike if you can make it to this stage in the game without being super far behind this is where you want to be <laughs> Did you ult him? Yeah, this Mort. I think he's just trying to die, honestly. He, like, Fed Jace was standing there helping, but he decided to ult the Renekton. Plus three. I have R and I have Ghost. Alright, let's do it. I didn't get my Fimble Winter there. This is so annoying. There's so much trash happening to me. Healing off the minion. I didn't go down though. Very important. I, I shouldn't have withered the Sejuani because once again I couldn't slow her so I didn't even get my Fimble Winter. I'm on Ghost Extensions. Plus three. Nice. We're at 600 Q farm. Seeing a lot of gold as well. 21% life still. Beautiful. Auto in the queue. Got him with the wither. Auto in the queue. Plus 12. This hand is so squishy, dude. I'll take that for fiddle diddle. My R is coming up. Take off the sedge passive. Ooh, this turret's down. You're withered, sedge. And this one is going to stick. So you're in combat. Boom! There it is. I think I just got Fimble Winter Shield again there. Oh, wow! Mord won that fight. Sick. Heal Cut's probably what did it. Plus, Renekton went for Merc Treads like a goober. Probably worried about the Fiddle Fear. Ooh, she's dead. Boom! Smack him with the Q. This game's over. We don't even need more items, man. Two item Sejuani, three item Renekton. Yeah, like some of them have more items, more gold spent than I do at the moment. We're just, we're so much stronger though. I would probably just go for a Gargoyle Sterix. Be completely peaked out. Thimble Winter's blocked nearly 3,000 damage. Sick. Let's 
take a look at the graphs. Damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt to enemy champions, we had number two in the game. I think if it went a bit longer or if we spent our 5,000 gold, we could have had the most for damage taken, most in the game. For self mitigated, most in the game. And for runes, high value. All in all, Fimble Winter, that power spike's crazy. It's so much stronger than a gargoyle or a sterix i think because of the price it's only 2600 gold it's saying 2700 right there but it's only 2600 uh crazy strong loads of stats the shield on it, it the value on the shield is so good because the short cooldown nobody anticipates it they don't realize oh you press wither like basically basically every time my withers up i get a shield uh, and then we're also healing from our fleet. We're healing from Nasus passive. So they, they, they're anticipating their damage. Oh, this is barely going to kill Nasus. And it just doesn't. And they end up putting themselves too deep and they die. So this item's pretty crazy right now for the price on Nasus. I think it behaves more like at least a 3,000 gold item. So there is definitely a discrepancy there. So if they made it a 3K gold item or 3,200 it'd be less of a second item rush, maybe even not build it. But for the price, it's hard to beat its value. If you guys enjoyed this Nasus jungle video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.